Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me for this video. So for today's video, we're going to do a short review on the Jazzwares Zapdos Pokemon action figure. So for one, um, I love Zapdos. He's one of my absolute favorite Pokemon. I even have a big tattoo of him on my shoulder. Um, he was always one of my favorite legendary Pokemon. So he's just super cool. So I'm really glad that they chose him to do a figure of. Uh, so yeah, that's awesome. So I don't actually have the box. I actually threw that out. So I don't have the box for the video, but I'll go ahead and throw in a picture of the front and the back of the box so that you can see just, you know, the aesthetics of the box that he will come in. So we can see here in the front, it just says Zapdos in the corner, and then you can see him sitting sideways through the box. And then on the back, we've got a picture of the other figures in the series, which is series two. And that's about it. Everything that he comes with is here already on display. Um, he just comes with the stand and the figure. So the stand, I actually have another figure from this line from Jazzwares, and I really love the stands that they come with. So the stand comes in uh, separate pieces. I think it comes like this in the box. Um, it's got a nice wide base, and then it's got the little triple jointed arm here, and they've got some really nice little notches here in the arm that get that notchy sound and uh, it holds pretty tight it's not too stiff but it can hold these flying figures really well so that's really cool and then just goes together like that snaps in the base bottom there so there's the base that he will come with and let's go ahead and check out the figure so yeah zap does it is super cool okay so his head is on a ball joint which you can see here and he has a neck joint here as well so with his neck joint going all the way back and then using the ball you can get his head to look pretty much straight up like that if you keep his body like that and then going down his neck goes about that far and then with the the ball joint from the head too he can look down like that it's a pretty good movement there and of course his head rotates all the way around so you can put him in like side pose something like that um and uh it moves side to side a little bit it's got a little bit of side to side movement but not too much um so that's it for his neck and head joint here with his wings they articulate all the way back flat like that and then you can bring them all the way down like that and they kind of look like that pretty cool the black part does not separate from the yellow part of his wings right there. But you can get it nice and flat down like that and then bring his head down and kind of give him this Pokemon card pose like that. So for his legs, they rotate around like this. Right here is little thighs. And then they hinge up about that far. And then down about that far. So that's pretty cool. And then his legs right here. Um... They go down straight, flat like that. It's got like a little notch on there that it stops at right there. And then his knees bend up like that. So you get his knees to pop up like that and then go down straight. And then right here, at the, you know, I guess it would be like his ankle, kind of the same thing. It goes flat, a little bit, a little bit past flat there. And then comes up like that. So you can, Two hinges there and both of them together you can literally like turn his feet like inside out like going this way so plenty of articulation there and then each one of his little talons his little claw talons um articulate as well so those can all go way up and the bottom one as well and spread out pretty far and then they can all close in it's about like that so you could almost even hold something grab up another one of your figures or something like that so you can spread his claws all the way out and then close them in pretty far. These side ones go down a little bit farther and the middle one kind of stays up a little bit. Doesn't come down as far. So yeah, and then nothing else there is, you know, it's an articulator swivel any other direction, just all up and down hinging here for his talons, his ankle, his knee, and then his little thigh, and then that swivels around. 
His tail does not have any articulation. Here is the peg hole for the stand. It just goes right in there like that. But his tail does not spin around or anything like that. <clears throat> it doesn't swivel. Um, but this is a really cool figure. I think that they've done a really cool job with this line. I think they've got um, Charizard, um, Articuno, um, Greninja, and I think there may be another one as well, Zapdos, obviously, but hopefully they keep uh, doing more Pokemon, um, and that'll be really cool. I think this figure, I mean, it's just a bird, it's Zapdos, and he's got really all, all the articulation you would want at a great price, and then comes with an awesome stand. So you can just pop his stand in just like that, and then put him in all kinds of poses. Get him fighting some other figures. You could, you know, maybe even have him snatch somebody up by their leg or something. You know, have somebody trying to bring him down and have him come down and grab him up by their, by their body like that. Have some fun with it or have him battle some other Pokemon. You can maybe even snatch up a weapon from somebody. You know, I don't know if you could hold that or not, but you can tighten all the way down to hold that, but you got it to sit right here. Yeah, you can just bottom claw to hold it. You could hold some weapons or something. <laughs> uh, you know, hold them, but you know, snatch them up from somebody or something like that. I think he is pretty cool. I like the articulation on him. It's not, not too crazy, but I mean, I don't know what else you would want to ask for. Maybe to swivel his tail around a little bit or hinge it up and down. That would be pretty cool. Um, maybe if he has some kind of joint, you know, here in the middle to kind of bend him up a little bit more. But I think he's pretty cool, pretty rad, and at a great price point. I think Jazzwares did knock him out of the park with these Pokemon. They look really good. The paint's really nice. We'll get a little close look at his face. Yeah, just got some kind of little speck on him. But the face looks really cool. You see his little pink tongue in there. And it's pretty, pretty standard colors and Pokemon are generally like just like two or three colors, four colors maybe, and don't have much shading to him. Uh, so he looks pretty cool. He's got a little bit of tan there on his legs. All this little talon paint all looks pretty good. Doesn't look sloppy or anything like that. No sloppiness between the, he's just got a little bit of dust on him. No sloppiness between the yellow to black or anything like that. The eyes look good. No sloppiness on the paint there either. So very cool. I really dig this and uh, I was really happy to get him. So I would totally recommend the Jazzwares Zapdos Pokemon. Um, I'll throw in a few shots of them here at the end. I hope you liked this uh, video. If you did, hit that like button and consider subscribing if you want to see more action figure review videos. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.